Hello, my name is Joseph T. As you do we. And today I'm making a video on the Analog Devices ADALM 2000 Advanced Active Learning Module, also known as the M2K for short. This is a USB data acquisition system that will replicate test equipment that you would find on an electronics workbench. Uh, some of the uh, equipment that it will replicate is a two-channel oscilloscope, two-channel arbitrary waveform generator, a logic analyzer, spectrum analyzer, digital voltmeter, and a power supply. Uh, there are limitations to the device, so it's not exactly like a full high-end test bench. Uh, two of the major limitations are the power supply, which will only supply plus or minus 5 volts. So if you're using it for an analog experiment using op amps, they're usually powered by plus or minus 12 volts or plus or minus 15 volts. And that's something that you cannot get out of this device. Second limitation on the power supply is if you're powering this device through the USB port, you can usually power up to get about 50 milliamps of current. If you choose to use the 5 volt, 2.5 amp wall power supply, uh, as a separate purchase, um, then you can probably get 500 to 700 milliamps out of the device. Uh, another limitation is, is just a digital voltmeter. It will not measure current directly. Uh, to measure current with this device here, you would have to measure the voltage across a known resistance and do the math to figure out the current. My suggestion is purchase a small handheld digital multimeter. It's a tool that's not uh, something that shouldn't be in a person's toolbox. You should have that. And it's a good device to have around, the digital multimeter. Okay, let's take a look at what's actually in the box. And what you get when you purchase this device is you get the device itself, the M2K, and that communicates through the serial port using a USB micro B connector. Second thing you get in the box is a connect set of connectors here that will allow you to go from the device to your breadboard or your circuitry. Set of header pins there if you're plugging into a breadboard. And of course, the USB cable for the device. So those are the basic things that you get with it in the box. And now uh, for the next part, I'm going to show you how you download the software and install the software to uh, get the system up and running. Okay, the next part is to download the USB driver for the M2K and a software package called Scopy, which is the uh, software that will uh, replicate the test equipment. And you can find that, those pieces of software on the Analog Devices website. I will attach links at the bottom of this uh, video. They're based on October 2020, so at a later point in time, the links may change. So I'm using a Windows 10 laptop, so I have to download the Windows driver. And there have drivers out there for both Linux and the Mac. So that's installed, downloaded. The next piece of software is Scopy the actual software that will replicate the test equipment. And again, I have the Windows system, so I will download that software. Once those two pieces of software are downloaded, then we begin the installation process. And the key to this is to install the Windows USB drivers first, then install the uh, Scopy software. When installing the uh, drivers, you can just use the default settings. Those should all work. And after a minute, all the USB drivers are installed. The next software to install is Scopy. And for that installation, 
for some reason, by default, it tries to install it in the download directory. You want to move that over into the uh, program files, analog devices directory. So we'll browse for that. And again, that's under programs, files, analog devices. And we'll install that, and after a moment or two, uh, the software will be installed. It will ask to reboot the computer at the end of the installation. You must do that, otherwise it will not work. Now, Scopy is an open source software package, so if you program in Python, uh, you can download the source code and adapt it for other needs that uh, you may have. Uh, so it's powerful in the, that standpoint. Uh, the software also allows you to do scripting within it to automate certain functions for if you want to do testing of uh, devices. And after a moment or two, the software will be installed and we will perform the reboot. And after that, we should be able to run the software and see how the system works. Okay, I've attached the M2K device to my laptop using the USB port. And if all is well, we should see the ready light on and the LED one light flashing back and forth. That means it's uh, communicating with the laptop. Okay, we should have on our desktop uh, an icon for the Scopy software. But one other thing I want to show you is if we go into the computer, the actual M2K appears as an external uh, thumb drive. Uh, so if you need to, f at a future date, want to update the firmware on the device, uh, you would be doing stuff with this uh, drive here to add um, the latest firmware. For us, we're just going to fire up the Sculpey software and see if we can see the system. If all has gone well, we should see our M2K device out there. When I click on it, it should recognize it, and it'll tell us what version of firmware, the IAO versions, uh, its serial number. We'll click Connect, and once it's connecting, you'll notice over here the equipment that it emulates uh, will calibrate itself. So we'll replicate the oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, signal generator, logic analyzer, pattern generator, digital I.O., voltmeter and power supply, and a network analyzer. So, so far it looks good, and in later videos I will go over the individual items and how they work. Thank you.